All right, we're into unit four. This is Go Math. Uh, we're talking about rates and ratios. So when we're dealing with a ratio, we're essentially talking about, uh, whoa, let me just erase that. A ratio, it's a comparing of two numbers using division, essentially. And what does that make us think of? Well, comparing two numbers using division is just like what we looked at with fractions back in unit two. So uh, they're very, very similar. And in fact, we will use fractions to talk about ratios. So the first thing I wanna do is just start with a basic concept. So if I'm looking at two triangles and three circles, my ratio is two to three. You might say, well, that's pretty obvious. Mr. W, I can count two and I can count three. That's it, guys. That's our ratio. So we're talking about comparing two different numbers two of these to three of these. Now it's very important that you don't want to make them three to two. It's a three to two ratio because we're talking about triangles first. So it's triangles to circles, two to three ratio. And there's a couple different ways that I can write a two to three ratio. So I can write it using words, two triangles to three circles, or I could use two to three and write it with a colon. So here's one option. Here's another option. Here's a third option. I could draw a model of something to explain my ratio. I could also do it as a two to three ratio because I'm comparing two numbers using division. We know that every fraction is a division problem. That's an option. So some of the things that you're gonna start to see comparing our ratios, essentially, we just wanna ask ourselves, what are the two things I'm discussing and in what order? So comparing two numbers two to three, two triangles to three circles, that's a two to three ratio, or a two thirds fraction. So, let's take this to the book and see what that looks like. Uh, Julie makes three bracelets for every one bracelet Beth makes. So, we've got Julie makes three bracelets. First, we're talking about Julie, and then we're talking about Beth. So, Julie first is a three to one ratio. And we can also write this as a three to one ratio or three bracelets to one bracelet. Or they can draw it right here as a three to one ratio. So there's lots of different options, but this is a three to one ratio. Now, what if I were taking that idea and we'll just erase it. I take that idea and I wanna expand it, right? So maybe I'm selling something and I want to compare. Well, uh, it's a buy two, get three free, right? You buy two bracelets and you get three pairs of socks. I don't know what use you have for socks and bracelets, but I can make a table. And a table, a rate table, which we'll get more into rates tomorrow, but as a table, I can look at a number of options showing that repeated ratio over and over and over again. So in this case, I'm gonna say Julie's bracelets to Beth's bracelets, and we know that our ratio is three to one. Now, if I were to close that off, that is my fractional representation. So that makes sense. So I might see something along the lines of, oh, I don't know, nine and 20. If I were looking for the next step, I might say, well, if Julie makes three bracelets, Beth makes one. If Julie makes six bracelets, Beth makes two. In other words, whatever I multiply one by, I have to multiply the other by because they're just going to double that section. Uh, and this holds true for our fractional equivalents, right? They're equivalent fractions. Uh, and we know that anything we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom. Anything we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So if it's three, over, three to one ratio is a six to two ratio, how do I go from three to nine? I multiply by three. And if I multiply the top by three, I have to multiply the bottom by three. So now I jump just a little bit bigger. And I say, well, what happens if Beth makes 20 bracelets? How many bracelets has Julie made? Assuming that we keep our three to one ratio. Well, one times 20 is 20. Three times 20 is 60. When I make a rate table like this, and we'll talk about rates again in the next lesson, I'm just repeatedly showing that same three to one ratio. This is my simplified fraction, three to one, over and over again. 